The fashion industry finds itself in turmoil as Balenciaga takes a decisive stand against Kim Kardashian amidst allegations of design theft. Following legal action initiated by Anna Wintour against Kim for allegedly appropriating designs for her brand skims, Balenciaga has chosen to exclude Kim from their prestigious fashion circles. This bold move underscores the industry's unwavering commitment to integrity and originality. Kim Kardashian alleged misconduct, involving the theft of designs and their misattribution, has ignited outrage among designers and fashion enthusiasts worldwide. Balenciaga's decision to ban Kim serves as a clear warning that such behavior will not be tolerated. The repercussions of this controversy are significant, with Kim Kardashian facing backlash from both industry insiders and the public. As a prominent figure in fashion, Kim's actions carry far-reaching consequences that could tarnish her reputation and affect her future endeavors. Amidst the turmoil, the fashion community is reaffirming its dedication to integrity and innovation, with Balenciaga leading the charge. As the legal proceedings unfold, the impact on Kim Kardashian and the fashion industry remains uncertain. Anna Wintour public address and legal actions against Kim highlight the complexity of the situation and reveal a division between influential figures in the industry. At the heart of the matter lies the allegation that Kim Skim's brand has replicated designs from other labels, prompting scrutiny and legal action. To comprehend the gravity of the accusations, it's essential to examine specific instances where Skim's products are suspected of imitating designs from other brands. Similarities in lingerie, shapewear and loungewear have drawn attention, compelling Anna Wintour to pursue legal recourse. The outcome of this legal battle could reshape perceptions of Kim Foray into the fashion world, casting a spotlight on the industry's commitment to authenticity and creativity. In her statement addressing the design controversy, Anna Wintour conveyed her disappointment with Kim Kardashian and Skims. As a pivotal figure in shaping the fashion landscape, Wintour underscored the importance of originality and creativity, emphasizing the role of designers in manifesting unique visions and condemning any attempts to replicate or imitate without proper attribution. The association between Kim Kardashian and Anna Wintour can be attributed to the involvement of Kanye West, Kim's former husband. Kanye, renowned for his passion for fashion and his own design endeavors, played a significant role in bridging the gap between Kim and the fashion elite. His influence secured coveted invitations for Kim to prestigious events like the Met Gala, an annual highlight of the fashion calendar. Kim Kardashian's attendance at the Met Gala stirred debate, with questions arising about whether her celebrity status alone warranted inclusion in such a prestigious affair. As the gatekeeper of the Met Gala, Anna Wintour wielded considerable influence over guest lists. However, in light of the allegations of design theft and Wintour's perception of a breach in fashion ethics, her stance on Kim Kardashian's future involvement in the event has shifted. Renowned for her steadfast commitment to upholding the integrity of the fashion industry, Wintour has explicitly stated that she no longer believes Kim Kardashian merits a place at future Met Gala events. As news of the legal proceedings and Wintour's declaration circulate, the controversy has rippled through the fashion and entertainment spheres, eliciting diverse opinions from the public, the fashion community, and celebrities alike. While some argue that the allegations could tarnish Kim Kardashian's standing in the fashion industry, others question the motivations behind Wintour's abrupt change in position. Wintour's decision to publicly address Kim Kardashian and initiate legal action against her reflects a broader commitment to maintaining ethical standards within the fashion domain. As the editor-in-chief of Vogue and a leading authority in the industry, Wintour's actions set a precedent for how the fashion community confronts allegations of design theft and unethical behavior. In response to the accusations and legal proceedings, Kim Kardashian has staunchly defended Skims, affirming the brand's dedication to originality. Kim's legal team is preparing to mount a robust defense, asserting that Skims' designs are the result of meticulous creativity and innovation. The outcome of this legal dispute is poised to have far-reaching implications for Skims and Kim Kardashian's broader fashion empire. The controversy has prompted consumers to reevaluate their perceptions of Skims as a brand, considering the ethical implications of design integrity. Additionally, the allegations may impact Kim's standing within the fashion community and influence her future collaborations and partnerships. The ongoing discord between Anna Wintour and Kim Kardashian surrounding allegations of design theft offers a profound glimpse into the intricate workings of the fashion industry, transcending its glamorous facade. 
This controversy serves as a poignant reminder of the indispensable role of ethical standards, authenticity, and the considerable influence wielded by industry titans in shaping its narrative. As footage documenting the apparent disconnect between Anna Wintour and Kim Kardashian circulated widely across social media platforms, the public was afforded a captivating insight into the dynamics unfolding within this esteemed gathering. What previously appeared as a robust camaraderie between Wintour and Kardashian now seemed conspicuously strained. Initial recordings depicted Kim seated alongside Anna, anticipating a gesture or acknowledgement that never transpired. However, subsequent footage revealed Wintour subtly distancing herself from Kardashian, prompting speculation among fans and observers regarding the underlying motivations. Various online commentators proffered their perspectives, with some hypothesizing that Wintour might have harbored a preference for younger, trendier personalities over Kim Kardashian. If, though speculative, such conjecture spurred nuanced discussions about the evolving landscape of beauty standards within the realm of public perception. Some posited that Kim's transformative aesthetic journey failed to resonate with contemporary sensibilities. From Wintour's perspective, it appeared that Kim Kardashian had transitioned from being a coveted asset to an awkward fit within the hallowed precincts of Vogue and Haute Couture. This perception was fortified by Kim's demeanor during the event, leaving an indelible imprint on public consciousness. The treatment meted out to Kim by Anna Wintour, coupled with the subsequent scrutiny from both admirers and media outlets, raised pertinent inquiries concerning her standing within the industry and the implications of her evolving image. Many pondered the trajectory of her future engagements with prestigious events, speculating whether she would maintain her prominence or gradually recede into the periphery of the fashion echelon, possibly becoming a vestige of a bygone era. It is noteworthy that opinions on Kim Kardashian have always been diverse, mirroring the multifaceted nature of her public persona. She has navigated numerous awkward situations, including a notable incident at a Fashion Week affair just a year earlier. During that episode, Kim found herself in an uncomfortable exchange involving both Anna Wintour and Sarah Jessica Parker, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the narrative. The historical backdrop of Kim's relationship with Anna Wintour, encompassing her conspicuous exclusion from the Met Gala in 2012, further enriches the tapestry of their interactions. At a subsequent New York Fashion Week gathering, Kim found herself seated in close proximity to both Wintour and Parker, setting the stage for another potentially awkward encounter. In a moment of misinterpretation, Kim extended a warm greeting to Wintour, mistaking her approach for a personal interaction, thereby underscoring the nuanced complexities of their association. However, the warm reception extended by the reality star was swiftly met with a cold shoulder as Wintour remained engrossed in conversation with Sarah Jessica Parker, leaving Kim ensnared in a discomfiting aura of uncertainty. The palpable awkwardness of this encounter did not elude those present, swiftly permeating discussions across media platforms and social channels. This incident served as a stark reminder of the intricate dynamics inherent within the high-stakes nexus of fashion and celebrity. Adding to the intrigue, Kim Kardashian's conspicuous absence from the cover of V Magazine's Met Ball issue further fueled conjecture regarding her standing within the fashion milieu. Speculations arose suggesting that Anna Wintour harbored discontent toward certain guests who flouted the event's stringent no-selfie policy that year. According to reports from VH1's The Gossip Table, Wintour made it unequivocally clear that there would be consequences for those who disregarded her directive. An insider divulged that Anna Wintour was meticulously apprised of the celebrities who contravened her instructions. Intriguingly, Kim Kardashian found herself among the guests unable to resist sharing snapshots of herself mingling with her then-spouse Kanye West. In a subsequent revelation, Kim confessed to initially leaving her phone at home in a bid to exercise restraint, only to ultimately resort to using Kanye West's phone. This sequence of events, juxtaposed with Kim's prior ban from the Met Gala, illuminated the evolving perception of Kim Kardashian within the industry. It becomes evident that Anna Wintour's distant and aloof demeanor toward Kim Kardashian recurs with each intersection of their paths. This discord can be traced back to Kim's ascension in Hollywood, with insiders intimating that it stems from Wintour's unfavorable assessment of her. A confidential source disclosed, Anna doesn't regard Kim as befitting of an event that hosts the creme de la creme of the entertainment world. This sentiment intimates that Kim Kardashian may not align with the exclusivity and prestige synonymous with events like the Met Gala, 
where tickets command exorbitant prices. Curiously, Kim Kardashian has encountered hurdles in securing an invitation to the Met Gala, despite her then paramour Kanye West attending the prestigious event unaccompanied. Her conspicuous absence from the affair, notwithstanding her high-profile liaison, garnered considerable attention and engendered discourse concerning her status within the upper echelons of high fashion. The recurring inquiry stemming from these episodes revolves around whether Anna Wintour's consistent ostracism signifies a waning clout and relevance for Kim Kardashian. It is imperative to acknowledge Anna Wintour's substantial sway within the fashion realm. Given her pivotal role as the gatekeeper of Vogue, her pronouncements hold considerable sway and possess the potential to significantly influence careers. By recurrently sidelining Kim Kardashian, Wintour unequivocally communicates her perception of Kardashian's stature within the fashion domain. Essentially, these repeated rebuffs suggest that Anna Wintour does not regard Kim Kardashian's style or brand as congruent with the elevated sartorial benchmarks emblematic of Vogue. While Kim Kardashian initially ascended to prominence through her reality show Keeping Up With The Kardashians, she has since parlayed her renown into a multifaceted empire encompassing fashion and beauty ventures. Nevertheless, an enduring contention persists positing that her celebrity eclipses her sartorial credentials, thereby casting doubt on her inclusion in prestigious fashion events and publications.